thunderstorms, lightning, floods, flash floods. These are all dangers we face each year in Ohio. During the severe weather months in the spring and early summer, we face these threats each time thunderstorms move through the area. Today, we'll talk about these threats and some of their dangers. Thunderstorms develop when cool, dry air from Canada collides with warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico, usually along a cold front. This creates instability in the atmosphere and allows strong lifting to occur. The warm, moist air is lifted high into the atmosphere, allowing for large, billowing clouds to develop. Combine these features with a strong jet stream and warm temperatures and you get a very unstable air mass that is capable of producing strong thunderstorms. From here, thunderstorms can evolve into several modes, such as large lines, clusters of thunderstorms in a line, known as a multi-cell line, or supercells. Most thunderstorms are not severe, but some do become severe. What makes a thunderstorm severe? A severe thunderstorm is one that produces at least one of the following. Hail to at least one inch in diameter, winds in excess of 58 miles per hour, or tornado. Surprisingly, only about 10% of all thunderstorms in a given year are classified as severe, with around 100,000 thunderstorms occurring every year. Thunderstorms develop in three stages, the developing or cumulus stage, the mature stage, and the dissipating stage. During the developing or cumulus stage, cumulus clouds begin billowing and building. Typically, there is little to no rain at this stage, as a developing storm consists of strong updrafts. Lightning can begin to develop during this stage, which is relatively short, lasting around 10 minutes. During the mature stage, the storm is fully developed and consists of strong updrafts and downdrafts. This is when hail, heavy rain, lightning, strong winds, and even tornadoes are most likely to occur. On average, thunderstorms will last around 10 to 20 minutes in this stage, but can last for hours if conditions are favorable to sustain them. During the dissipating stage, the updrafts are cut off and the storm consists of only downdrafts. The storm begins to weaken and rainfall begins to decrease. Strong winds will still occur during this stage and lightning will still be ongoing. Typically, this stage is rapid and the storm will quickly dissipate. Thunderstorms can produce the following dangers. Strong downdraft winds, known as microbursts. These winds can easily exceed 100 miles per hour and cause widespread damage. Damaging straight line winds greater than 60 miles per hour. Hail. Hail can vary in size, but sometimes gets very large. Hail can cause property damage to cars and homes, especially rooftops. Tornadoes. Not all thunderstorms produce tornadoes. However, if conditions are right, tornadoes may form. Lightning. Lightning does not make a thunderstorm severe, no matter how frequent or intense. However, lightning has its own dangers associated with it. We all know the dangers of lightning. There is little, if any, warning of an impending lightning strike. Lightning can be as high as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of the sun. This can do severe damage, and if it strikes a person, can kill them instantly, paralyze them, or cause severe long-term health issues. Lightning can strike miles away from a thunderstorm. It does not have to be raining where you are for lightning to occur. If you can hear thunder, then you are close enough to be struck by lightning. There is no safe place outdoors to seek shelter from lightning. Taking shelter under a tree or a group of trees is extremely unsafe, as is being in an open field. The best thing to do is to seek shelter inside a building or a hard-topped car. The tires do not prevent lightning from striking your car. The protection inside your car comes from the vehicle's frame. If lightning were to strike your car, the electricity would pass through the frame and out through the wheels to the ground. You can still be injured by lightning if you are inside of a car, but it is much safer than being outdoors. If you witness someone get struck by lightning, help them immediately. There is no danger of getting shocked from touching them as they cannot store an electrical charge. These people need immediate help and you should call 911 as soon as possible. Floods and flash floods are extremely dangerous. Flash floods are the number one cause of deaths associated with thunderstorms, with almost 100 fatalities each year. There is a difference between a flood and a flash flood. 
A flood is the inundation of water over a normally dry area, caused by high water flow. Floods occur slowly, normally greater than six hours, and can also occur over a large area. A flash flood occurs quickly, usually less than six hours. They are caused by excessive rainfall in a short period, a dam or levee failure, or the sudden release of water impounded by an ice jam. Nearly half of all flooding deaths are caused by people driving into floodwaters. This should never be done. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Never drive through a flooded roadway. It is impossible to tell how deep the water is and whether or not the road is still intact. As little as six inches of fast moving water can knock you off of your feet, and just two feet of water is enough to carry away most vehicles, including SUVs and pickup trucks. Flooding can last for days, and sometimes a week or more. In Ohio, common types of flooding are river flooding and flooding caused by dams and levees holding back excess water. Common flash flooding in Ohio is typically caused by ice jams when we quickly go from cold to warm with stormy weather or a snowpack that melts very quickly. Urban flooding is also common, and this can cause flash flooding if a heavy rainfall has nowhere to drain. In some of the steeper terrain, heavy rainfall along an already saturated ground can cause small streams and creeks to quickly flood and overtake roadways with fast moving water. Remember, turn around, don't drown. This year marks the 100 year anniversary of the Great Flood of 1913. This remains the most severe flood to ever strike Ohio and affected much of the state. 467 people died from this flood and over 40,000 homes were flooded. Dayton declared martial law where the flood killed 123 people and the Great Miami River flooded 14 square miles. The Cuyahoga River swept away docks, trains, and rail yards in Cleveland. The flood swept away the Ohio and Erie Canal system and seven locks had to be dynamited. The Ohio River at Cincinnati rose 21 feet in 24 hours, almost one foot per hour. Several major flooding events have occurred in Ohio since 1913, but this flood created major changes in Ohio. Watersheds were created, and a vast system of flood control reservoirs were established, such as the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District and the Miami Conservancy District. These were developed in the 1920s and 1930s and consist of several levees and dams, as well as lakes all across East Central Ohio and Southwestern Ohio. Many of the recreational lakes we see today were created from this effort. Some towns were either moved or unincorporated to develop these lakes. Because of this effort, several other major flooding events were controlled and damage was significantly minimized thanks to these levees and dams and the events of 1913.